President Abdel Fattah Sisi continued his visit to the Serbian capital Belgrade, during which he was awarded an honorary doctorate from Belgrade University and laid a wreath of uh, flowers at the tomb of unknown soldier on Mount Avala. Earlier, the president met with Serbian counterpart Alexander Vucic, addressed the Egyptian Serbian Business Forum, and met with Speaker of the Serbian Parliament Ivica Dasic. The following report shed more light on the president's visit to Serbia. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi has been awarded an honorary doctorate from the Belgrade University, one of the most important educational institutions in Serbia. On receiving the honorary doctorate on Thursday, President Assisi delivered a speech in which he thanked the university. In his speech, the head of state stressed that the climate change and the overpopulation are the biggest challenges facing the world, beside water scarcity and the food problems. President Assisi expressed the Egyptian keenness on preserving welfare and interests of the Nile Basin countries. Meanwhile, President Assisi led a wreath of flowers at the tomb of the unknown soldier on Mount Tavala in Serbia. Presidential spokesman Basel Muradi said that President Assisi was accompanied by the Serbian Defense Minister. Earlier on Tuesday, the President met with the Serbian counterpart Aleksandar Vucic to probe the bilateral ties in addition to a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. At a joint press conference following the meeting, President Assisi expressed his appreciation to the Serbian leadership and the people, adding that Egypt is looking forward to developing cooperation in various domains in light of the historical ties binding the two countries. For his part, Vucic welcomed President Assisi, stressing the significance of his visit to Serbia, adding that his country is looking forward to boosting the bilateral ties in all fields during the upcoming period. The two leaders signed a number of agreements and memoranda of understandings in the fields of higher education, agriculture, art and media. Later, President Assisi addressed the Egyptian-Serbian Business Forum, during which the President reviewed the opportunities of investment in Egypt and horizons of economic and trade cooperation between the two countries. He called on the Serbian businessmen to participate in the national projects in Egypt, especially in the fields of ports, noting that Egypt has good investment opportunities, especially amid the modernization of needed infrastructure during the past seven years. The president said that more than 6,000 projects at the cost of £8 trillion have been implemented with the aim of preparing the state for more investments. The forum witnessed the display of documentary featuring the Egyptian achievements in the railway and the transportation field, especially the new tunnels, bridges, the express train and the monorail, in addition to new means of naval transportation, plus a project to transform the Egyptian ports into international hubs, as well as the new international airports. The documentary also shed light on the textiles and weaving industry, iron and steel projects, food industries and renewable energy and petrochemical projects. It also featured new fourth generation cities such as the new administrative capital, the new Alamein city, new Ismailiya city, El Galela city, new Aswan. The documentary displayed the expansion in health services and the establishment of hospitals and medical centers to cover all the governorates and the health insurance system in Egypt, as well as the pharmaceutical industries. President Assisi also met with the Speaker of the Serbian Parliament, Ivica Dacic. During the meeting, the Speaker of the Serbian Parliament praised the distinguished relations between the peoples of the two countries. Marking the 7th, uh, 70th anniversary of 23rd of July Revolution, Minister of Interior Mahmoud Tawfi sent cables of uh, uh, congratulations to President Al-Sisi. In his message, uh, Minister Tawfi expressed his sincere greetings and wishes of success to the President. He added that the celebration of the revolution represents a long march of devotion and loyalty. It also raises values and principles in the conscience and beliefs of coming generations to preserve vows and exert more efforts to open new horizons for a better future. 
The Minister of Interior also helped President El Sisi attain his aspirations uh, in achieving the country's comprehensive development. And Egypt offers sincere condolences over the victims of brutal attack that targeted civilians, including children in northern Iraq's Kurdistan region, as artillery shells hit a park in an attack. Egypt expressed solidarity with Iraq in facing all shapes of violent terrorism and extremism and wish speedy recovery for the injured. Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abdul Ghait also denounced the Turkish attack on Iraq that led to deaths totally refusing any breach of Iraqi sovereignty and international law. Nine civilians, including children, were killed in a park in Iraq's Kurdistan region by artillery fire that Baghdad blamed on Turkey. And the Ministry of Interior continued its efforts to fight all kinds of supply violations, on top of which selling of expired commodities. The efforts had paid fruits in many cases, including 1483 cases of overpriced selling. 618 cases of violations by bakeries were also detected by policemen of the Supply Police Administration.